everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Leslie from Black Dog Vintage and I am super excited to be here with everybody. I have a small little haul today from the flea market. I went to go see my friend uh, at the flea market today. His name is Ace and I go see him every single week. He is the sweetest 79 year old man and he runs a little jewelry booth that is um, kind of in a corner and it is just piled with boxes upon boxes upon boxes of costume jewelry and it is literally like uh, Jenga in there and you have to be very careful about how you go about and it's very very hard to maneuver in there you really can't have more than one person in there at a time and um, I love going through there and he is just an absolute doll to talk to. So I try to go see him every week and see how he's doing. And um, now we've got each other's phone numbers and uh, he'll text me during the week and say, oh, I've got stuff I'm saving for you and, and all of that. And he told me this week that he had some new pieces and he had set them aside and um, I've got some of them in here today. So I'm super excited to bring this to you guys. Um, a lot of this will be available on the live on Thursday um, coming up, um, and uh, which I think is going to be on March 30th, I believe. It's March 30th. Um, I'm not sure. It's somewhere around there. And um, and But if you are a channel member, of course, you do get first dibs. So feel free to reach out if you are interested in any of these pieces, if you are a channel member. Um, and if you're not, feel free to um, check out my uh, description of the video and there is a link to find out about being a channel member as well. So uh, let's take a look at the things that I got now. Um, I got some things that he didn't set aside for me as well because, you know, I like the weird and interesting things as well. So um, I've got some of that here too. So yeah, there's some really cool pieces. So let's take a look at some of the things I got. And there's a couple of things that I thought might be silver. Uh, so I have my silver out here, my silver tester. Um, but first things first, I, I saw this and I thought this was just so cool. It is a little um, elephant brooch. And I liked how the elephant was off center on this. And it is definitely a uh, gold plated or gold washed brooch has the pin back on the back it was just i thought it was just a really interesting piece probably from the 80s or something but um you know very which is very cool very interesting and nice oversized piece and with that elephant element there that's been applied it definitely looks like it was applied and then maybe gold washed and i just thought that was just such a cool and fun, fun, fun little piece. And uh, yeah, just a simple, simple brooch, but super cool. I don't know, just me, I thought. Um, and uh, then I found this little flower, beautiful enameling, and I love the little AB stone right there. And this was also marked, and let's see if we can get a close up on it. Um, does it say LIA? Not sure. I think I might have to go and use my loop here. Let's take a look. Yeah. LIA. I'm not familiar with LIA. I will have to look that one up. This is kind of, I'm going through this now. I did not look up anything prior, so I will have to look up that one. Um, I'm not familiar with LIA. Um, I'm not sure if that is an kind of an art gallery piece or not, but that is just really pretty, pretty, pretty enameling and a beautiful, Kind of a, almost like a lucite type flower. Really pretty. I thought that was a really pretty piece. Um, I loved this ring. It is unfortunately too small. Oh no, not, not too small for me. I thought this was too small for me. But I just thought this ring was super cool. Really cool and oversized. And uh, really kind of like a cool glow to the glass here. Um, and I loved that. Of course, because you guys know... 
or those of you who have watched me enough know that I love like the whole Buddha theme and all of that. It's got the Buddha on the side and on this side as well. Cool little, you know, it's got, it's all cool, you know, mixed metal with the brass and the silver tone. It's got some purple enameling. Purple is my favorite color. And then on the inside, it is inscribed, Lucky You. So this might be having to go on my finger for a little while because I need a little luck for the next little bit. But I thought this was just the coolest ring. And uh, it's heavy, that's for sure. But it's so cool. So I really, really loved it. So I found that and I had to grab it. Um, and just because I'm a huge Cloisonne fan, I found these. It's actually more of like a Champlevé style earring with that heavier wire on the outside. Love this. Love, love, love. Little Cloisonne heart earrings. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I found this ring. Now this, this is the one that I think it might be silver. I could not read this in. Now I had a loop, but my loop ran out of juice, the batteries. And I couldn't read what it said on the inside. Oh, it does say, okay, it says ATI925 tie. Okay, so that makes sense. ATI925 tie. So probably worth cleaning this one up a little bit. It's quite, quite, quite tarnished. Um, I'm gonna, let's just test it really quick because you know, sometimes these might not test, right? Because a few videos ago, I tested something that was silver from the flea market, Mark Silver from the flea market, and it was not silver. So I use the 18 karat solution for all my silver testing. And this is, there it goes. And that is turning blue right there. Perfect. Turning blue. All right, so that is silver. Fantastic. So that's a really pretty silver and marcasite ring. And kind of a older style maybe, but um, very pretty ring. And I think it is going to be, a lot of times I won't, um, I won't polish a ring, but this one, I might polish this one. So we'll see. I might polish that one. I think that one's worth polishing. I don't think it's very old. Um, so I think it might be worth polishing. I thought this was a lovely brooch, this pave crystal with the pearl. And this one was also marked, but of course I couldn't see it very well in there. And maybe we can see it here. And it says, it's with a P, Puccini? Puccini. Now, I feel like I need to see what Puccini is. Okay, so Puccini jewelry has been around from about 1960 to 1999. And they have a look definitely very similar to Swarovski, um, kind of some of the jewelry that I saw so online. And I just had to do a quick research on it because it just was very, um, the the it just looked very distinctive that, you know, that logo. So uh, very pretty, pretty, pretty brooch. So I had to grab it. It was, to me, it looked very like Swarovski-ish. So, um, and I saw, even though I couldn't really read it, I saw that it was signed, so. I grabbed it and I thought, you know, it's really pretty and it has to be something. So I decided might as well see what it might be. Um, and this definitely deserves a cleaning. Um, and it looked like a majority of the stones were intact on this piece. 
um, but I am a sucker for these Art Deco style pieces and um, it just needs a good clean and I absolutely love this brooch. It is absolutely gorgeous. Could you imagine this on like a dress or something that where it looks like you're gathering some fabric? Oh, and it looks like a buckle. I am just kind of obsessed with this piece. Um, I think cleaned up, this could be absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to be working on this to see how how shiny I can get it. It's going to be interesting. And this piece, look at this. It is absolutely stunning. And it is a Sarah Coventry. This is not something I would have imagined as a Sarah Coventry. Um, I don't know. It just looks so different. But look at the shine and like that kind of inner glow that those stones, those opalescent stones have in the center. Oh my God, I love this. And it's a Sarah Coventry. Amazing, amazing. Sarah, you surprise me at every turn. So I just think the Sarah Coventry pieces are just in absolutely amazing. Um, this, check out this. So this is... Um, a hand-painted bead. This is not really cloisonné, but these are a hand-painted bead. They are glass, I think. Let me just double check here. Oh. They're metal. These are a metal bead. They're dinging, so I guess they're metal. So it's a hand-painted metal bead. And they all have little birds and all kinds of different little, little, I guess, little uh, scenes on them. Are they all birds? Yeah, I guess they're all little birds and stuff. They are all painted on there, I believe. I don't think they're lithographed. I think they're painted on there. It does need a little bit of a cleanup on the hand knotting part. So I'm gonna see if I can work on that a little bit. Um, and then it has a beautiful little, um, a beautiful clasp here. And there we go. And it has something on the clasp here. Let's see if we can get it to, I don't know if that's a mark. Not sure. It's like we've got a little vertigree we have to get off. Not sure what that mark is. So we have to check this clasp, figure out what this clasp is. I don't think it's gold. It doesn't look like it's actual gold. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. To me, it, I don't know, I don't think so. Definitely has some verdigree on it. Um, but these beads are literally just so stunning. And I can't wait to try to clean up this necklace. I don't know if I'll need to restring it. I'm not really sure what I'll need to do yet on this, but I'll be kind of playing around with this and seeing exactly what it is. It's definitely old. Um, this is definitely old and I think we're gonna have to learn more about this I think this is something truly special um, and I just don't know what it is quite yet um, but I'll be really curious and we'll learn about this together if anybody else has come across something like that let me know let me know um, this is another Sarah Coventry piece um, that I thought was really cool and uh, it, it is marked right here, Sarah. Okay, there it is. So now it's focused on the Sarah Cove. And there is this beautiful little leaf brooch. Very pretty, pretty piece. Here is another uh, cloisonne style, almost like Champlevé style um, bracelet. And this one actually is a bangle that opens and 
think it, oh, which side? Oh, here, it opens on this side. And I don't think this is real silver. I think that's silver tone. We'll double check it and see. Yeah, it's scratching weird, but maybe. No, it disappeared. Yeah, that disappeared right away. So that's not silver, it's just silver tone. And we will move on from that. So, but beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, enameling on that. Beautiful cobalt, great colors on there. There's a little bit of a mar there. I didn't notice that, but that's okay. It is absolutely, still absolutely gorgeous. Such a beautiful piece. Um, I'm another thing I'm really loving, and maybe it's just a phase I'm going through right now, is any type of inlay in anything. And so this is an abalone mother of pearl inlay earring. Just very simple, but I love abalone always. And this type of earring, it's just gonna catch the light. And it's just beautiful, just beautiful. So I had to grab those. And, you know, I'm building my Christmas brooch collection for a Christmas in July sale that we'll have coming up. And this is a gorgeous Eisenberg Ice Christmas tree. And that is really pretty. It's a little bit more modern, probably 1960s-ish. Absolutely beautiful. I'm guessing. I'm not... 100%, but I'm guessing. I've got another Christmas tree one in here somewhere. Check this one out. Copper, um, I believe this is, well, maybe a brass, but it's got kind of like a um, iridescence to the top here. And there's some like purple and green that kind of comes off of it. Probably hard to see in this light, but really cool. And then the big faux pearl there. Uh, not signed, but I just thought this was just a really cool flower. Um, just really interesting, really, just really cool. I just, I the texture, this kind of, you know, it's got kind of like this springy little stem to it, the filigree look. It's just really interesting. And then that iridescence kind of like they heated that metal up and it turned color. It's just so cool. Just so cool. I had I had to grab it. I had to. Just that's just what I had to do. Um then I had to grab these earrings. Um they're on a card and it has one of those like pads on, but the ear things. They're clips and it has those little like pads to keep your you know, this soft. I don't think these are marked. I didn't see a mark on it. I didn't take the pad off, but I'm assuming, oh, it's usually it's marked back there, but I thought these were just super cool too. But again, this is like, I'm big into textures. I'm big into mixed metals. And this has kind of like everything that I love. And isn't that just really amazing? So, and it's got this like tiger's eye in there and it's just all built up around the tiger's eye and the copper really, really sets off that tiger's eye color. And then you've got the brass and a little tiny bit on this one, it looks like just a little tiny bit of silver solder, but it's gold on the other side, just kind of different. So I had to grab them. I just thought they were so unique, so different. And of course, had to grab them. Um, next piece. Here's the other Christmas tree I grabbed. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. And that is an Eisenberg, not an Eisenberg ice. So this is just an Eisenberg. Super gorgeous. Gotta love those crystals. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. And here is a pair of really pretty gold fill clip earrings. And such a cool design probably goes like this, right? Yeah, such a cool design. And you've got the emerald baguettes, 
the little spirals. And I believe these are gold fill. Maybe not. No, maybe, maybe these aren't. Maybe I'm thinking of a different pair. But these are, but just the design of these is very almost like modernist, very like, or even like mid-century modern, just super, super interesting. And I just, I don't know, I'm just really getting into this, this like look or something. Um, but the spiral, the little, you know, you've got these like spokes coming off and they're met kind of reflected in these two emerald baguettes on the bottom. It's just visually interesting, really cool. And you know that these are vintage. And so to think about that, you know, it's just a very different kind of idea. I just personally, this is cool. This is just a cool look, you know what I mean? Just a really cool look. Um, and then, you know, coming back into something a little bit more, um, a little bit more traditional, you've got this where it's, you've got the really pretty little flower here with the coral um, bud on there. And um, this one is not marked at all. And then let's see if these, this is real jade. I probably. Um, it's nephrite. So it's like lower end jade, but it's, you know, you've got your coral, you've got your nephrite, it's, you know, and, and it's just a really pretty little brooch. Very simple, but, you know, this is something that a lot of people really like. I don't think it's marked at all on there. Sometimes, you know, some of these are marked on the pin, but I'm not seeing anything marked on this pin area. So, but really pretty. I, you know, there was a couple that he had that were your more traditional, but this one had that flower in the front and I thought that was really cute. So I grabbed it. Okay, this one was fun. Um, it's a butter knife. It's a little butter knife with rhinestones. I, I mean, how could you not? How could you not grab it? It's a butter knife. I mean, I, there's got to be some kind of symbolism to wearing a butter knife. Although I grabbed that silver spoon brooch and I still quite, can't quite understand the symbolism of wearing a some silver spoon. Um, I read something about the silver spoon was something to do with like, it was passed out like in sor sororities and for like sisterhood and stuff like that. I still don't understand why a spoon, but okay. But there's gotta be like some kind of thing for a knife. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Does it mean like severing ties maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but you got a jeweled one here and it's cool little gold, you know, gold plated or gold washed or something and really pretty little crystals in there, but no marks or anything. But I had, I oh, maybe there is a mark. I had to grab it. It was like, it's a knife. It's a bejeweled knife. No, that's just the, that's just the decoration imprint. That is. It's, it was so cool. It's a knife. It's a knife. I I loved it. I had to grab it. You know, just different. It's different. Um, this, we've got some natural freshwater pearls in green for this little necklace. And a silver box clasp um, with a labradorite. I believe that's labradorite in the center this was really interesting this was just like casually in a box and i'm like that's an interesting necklace first off the color the color is just really cool and then but this clasp is wild that labradorite sets off the green for the necklace beautifully you've got freshwater pearls that are in this beautiful shade of green and they're all hand knotted they're all different you know the they're all unique and but this clasp is unbelievable and it is marked 925 and let's just i mean we'll test it just for but i really don't think that this is lying 
at all. I really do think this is 925. I'll be surprised if it's not. I really will. Okay, so we've got a nice little scratch there. And let's see. Yep, it's turning blue. It's hard to see on this thing here. Come on. You can see the, well, there you go. You kind of see the reflection in there. See the blue right. I'll use, I'll use this here. You can see the blue reflection, reflection right in there. It's hard to see with this light, though. You kind of see a little bit of blue in there, though. So yes, it is blue, come on, right in there, if you can see it. But yep, we got some blue, and so it is 925, but it's crazy. But I just think that is a crazy necklace. It is absolutely gorgeous, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful piece. So, oh, and the length, probably want to know the length, right? Just in case somebody might be interested in it or something, you probably want to know the length. And the length is 16 inches. So it's a 16 inch length. And uh, probably a no-go on trying to make it any longer, but 16 inch length is pretty, pretty standard. Um, okay, this is, I got it for the pendant. Um, I did not get it for the chain. The chain is a really cheap, crappy chain. But this is not a cheap, crappy pendant. So this pendant is a Petoskey stone. And it is beautiful. It is a beautiful Petoskey stone. Petoskey stones, um, I've had them, I've talked about them in the past. Petoskey stones are a stone that is native to Michigan. I'm sure you can find them in a few other places, but especially in northern Michigan here. Um, here, I live in Detroit, but um, in northern Michigan, I used to live in northern Michigan. You can find them on the shores of like Lake Michigan, especially up near the city of Petoskey. And, um, but the Great Lakes were once um, oceans or they were saltwater. And there was coral that were in the Great Lakes. And when the ice age came or whatever came and it turned the salt and the salt left the Great Lakes and they became lakes, all that coral um, petrified and fossilized and we were left with these stones and this is fossilized coral and you can find all throughout michigan you can find like people that sell pendants and figurines and slabs and whatever i have a, a t like a whole collection of rocks that you know when my kids and i would go to the beach we have like buckets and buckets and buckets of petoskey stones that we would just find off the beach and I always said that I would get one of those rock polishers and polish it, but I never did. Um, but this is just a really cool Petoskey stone pendant. And this is really awesome. And it's thin, it's very small, but it's a great little, great little pendant. So it's um, not, you know, it's just, it really needs to, another, another, um, another chain and it needs maybe another loop here and maybe some of this glue cleaned off or something. It, it wasn't maybe done in the best possible way, but it is nicely polished and you can see the nice fossilization there, but it's a pretty stone. It really is. It's a very pretty stone. Um, this is a piece that I found and is this one marked? So this was just a really nice little rhinestone leaf brooch that I found and this one is not marked but I thought the stones were really pretty I like the leaves just a really pretty little brooch grab that one um I love compacts and I love dragons 
And those of you who have watched me for long enough, you guys know I like bugs and creepy crawly things and scaly things and stuff like that. So why wouldn't I love a dragon? Um, so this I fell in love with and it is just a simple mirrored compact. And this is actually an original, original Choken art collection. And Choken is, I've had a few like boxes, trinket boxes from Choken and I've had a couple keychains by Choken. And Choken is actually quite collectible. I've never had a compact. This is not exactly in the best condition in the world, and I don't know the Dragon series at all for Choken, but Choken is actually a pretty collectible item, so um, I'll have to look that one up. Uh, I found this cute little cluster brooch. Definitely needs some cleaning. Not really sure what's going on. We got some lot of like goop and stuff around the pearls and the crystals, but it wasn't highly expensive so i'm gonna see if i can clean it up if not it might go in craft we'll see um look at this beauty this i did pay up a little bit <laughs> for this one but it is gorgeous this is absolutely a stunning 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 brooch and it is a listener and it is absolutely beautiful. Um, this is one of those finds where you're just like, oh, okay, that makes my day. Um, this is just a beautiful, beautiful piece. And um, I mean, even look at the dimension in the branch where you have the baguettes coming up and then it's like the cross section of the branch and then there's a little rhinestone right there. Just, it's like everything's in the details, at least for me, everything's in the details. And you know, you've got the little pave leaves and then you've got the leaves that actually have the, like the navettes type or, you know, that kind of shape, like a navette kind of shape. And it's just like the different textures and stuff. It's just, to me, it's those details that really, really make a difference to me. And I just love that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, that I thought was super cute. It's just a little baby brooch. And I love my baby brooches. I always find them. I always try to feature them. Oh, and this was, I didn't even look. It was on a card, so I didn't even look. And this is signed. And what does it say? Let's try to lift this up so we can see. Come on. There we go. Uh, Lusterne. Lusterne, 1 20th, 12 karat gold fill. And it can also be a pendant. Now, I've never seen a baby brooch like this that is signed number one that's ever been signed and that's gold fill and that could be a pendant so that's super interesting to me and um i love it it's got amethyst stones and really interesting little like almost like flower petals all around this is really pretty and um you know baby brooches like this a lot of people you know will do have different things that they do with them. I personally like putting them on a headband. I had a friend suggest that. Now that's what I do. I have one of those headbands that you can buy at like the beauty supply place or even I think you can even buy them at the uh, drugstore and they're like a headband that's got a little bit of padding and you can stick these little baby brooches on them and they look so cute. Um, and then this one needs a good cleaning but they're little screw back dangly earrings. And look how pretty those little amethyst um, stones are. And these are, is this marked? It does look like it's marked. Let's see, might need to look at it under. Looks like these are gold fill also. Yep. One, oh, let's see. Oh no, it says check. These are marked check. 
So these are actually check earrings. So gorgeous little check earrings. Love it. So you can kind of see it. See if I can see Checo. C Z E C H O check earrings. And I love how it's got the little stone right there. And then down, and it's got the little dangle. Gorgeous. So that's everything that I got at the flea market. Now I am probably going to be getting more. Um, still going to be shopping this weekend. Still going to be shopping the rest of the week because you know I try to bring a lot for you guys for my sales on Thursdays. And then don't forget I have my sales, my clearance sales on Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Vintage sales are Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Please don't miss those. Those are a lot of fun to join. And uh, I hope to see you at one of them. So thanks so much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my um, my pieces that I bring to you. If you enjoy my content, please don't forget to subscribe. It's always free to subscribe. And uh, I hope to see you on the next video or in my next live. And uh, thanks for joining me. Love you all. Bye.